fifth time as Big Ten foes at Iowa and Nebraska meet. And this one had a lot riding on it in terms of the college football playoff picture. The Hawkeyes come on the road and remain unbeaten with a 28-20 win over the Huskers. It is their first 12-win season in program history. Adam Amin, Kelly Stauffer wrapping things up. We'll flash forward in a moment, but let's talk about this one first. Iowa, the things that they have done all season long to get to an undefeated mark. Win the turnover battle, run the football, come up with some big plays on defense. All that stuff played out once again, and that's been yeah. Iowa all season long. That's who Iowa is, the team concept of playing football. I, I enjoy the way they play. They were out gained by 200 yards, and they didn't convert a third down. But they win the turnover takeaway, don't give up explosives, and they make the opponent be really efficient, and Nebraska simply could not do that. First time in Tommy Armstrong's career that he threw four interceptions in a game. The mechanics, as you noted during the yeah. broadcast, weren't there. Yeah, the mechanics lead to bad throws, inaccuracy, errant passes, but some of this was just horrendous decision-making. And Nebraska was not going to get away from this because of the run game that Kanziri and others brought to the table. Jordan Kanziri, who had an ankle injury that kept him out a couple of games earlier in the season, has bounced back the last few weeks. Had a touchdown a week ago against Purdue, and he had two more today on big, similar plays. Yeah, touchdown runs of 29 and of 68 to start that second half, which really set the tone. And when Iowa runs it like that and they don't make the bad mistakes, they're really, really tough to beat. You see what Kanziri was able to put together. Those two long runs, as Kelly mentioned, leading to 111 second-half yards for Kanziri, who is still battling through that ankle issue. So let's flash forward. you got a 12-0 Iowa Hawkeye team essentially getting ready for a play-in game of the Big Ten Championship in Indianapolis a week from Saturday. They'll either play Michigan State, Ohio State, or Michigan, depending on what fleshes out on Saturday afternoon. So as you look forward to this team, it's impossible to keep them out if they win next week. It's a win in it. You're in situation right now. Yeah, would we be talking about keeping the undefeated Big Ten champion out if it was anyone but Iowa? Obviously, if they win that Big Ten championship game, they're absolutely in. There isn't any question about that right now. And you can see right there that resume compares to most in the country. But the big deal is you're undefeated in one of the power fives. You're you're getting in. You there isn't get any in, question yeah. about it. And I think they're a tough out, to be quite honest with you. The way they play travels so well. Defense, offense, special teams, and they don't screw it up. They let the other team be inefficient. That's exactly the way Iowa wins football games. It's certainly going to be a very intriguing Big Ten title game in Indianapolis a week from Saturday, regardless of the opponent. But what we do know, the Hawkeyes are unbeaten. One more win would get them into the playoff.